Hello there puzzle friends again, we're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. As you can see on the picture already, I do have here some puzzles uh, laid out and all of them are from the brand Dino with this small uh, red logo. Today we are going to do a review about the brand Dino. But what I first of all, what is the brand Dino? The brand Dino is a, Dino, is a brand that makes uh, toys and jigsaw puzzles. Sometimes you may find it as Dino toys. It's a brand that's uh, relatively, relatively new, but not that new in the market. It has a history of uh, 1993, where they started producing their first products. They are based in the Czech Republic. And they uh, have a statement that they make products for the local market. Uh, and when it comes to jigsaw puzzles, we can see that on the range. Here you can see some, some samples. This is the samples I have bought. I do have some other stuff. Uh, on the samples they have, they are uh, jigsaw puzzles. Of course, they have jigsaw puzzles for children which are most of the time less than 500 pieces and most of them are from 500 to 2000 pieces and sometimes 3000 pieces. But they have also jigsaw puzzles that go up to 6000 pieces. Here you can see 2000 pieces, 1000 pieces, which as I already stated are what most of the time the range is. I do also have one 3000 pieces. Let me show it to you. This one is a, a scenery in uh, Switzerland, but it will good, very could be also in Bayern, in Oberbayern, in the Upper Bavaria in English. And from the when it comes to what are their themes are. Well, you can find landscapes, as you already saw, there are pictures with animals, maps. Uh, they also have pictures of art, such as this one. Collages, and of course, they have some original and unique pictures. These ones, for example, are only, you can find them only on the Dino, and this one too. I also had uh, one which uh, was a 2000 pieces that was from Strachow Monastery. And I have seen it online, yet again from Dino, but in 3000. Uh, when it comes to unique and local market, well, you see here we have a map of the Czech Republic and a map of Slovakia. If you don't know, the Czech Republic and the Slovakia, they used to be one country, Czechoslovakia, but they are divided uh, some years now, I do believe three decades or so. And if you see, on the, if you go close to this, maybe I can show it to you. They also have the text. It's on uh, the Czech language. So they're probably mostly um, dedicated to the Czech public. But still, we can also puzzle them, even though we don't understand the language. Uh, a puzzle is always a puzzle, it's a universal language, so to say. So, but uh, that's enough about this. I would say about the range, they do have a very good selection and you will find something that goes to your taste, which is also always good to have. Uh, and let's go further and let's discuss about the boxes they have. Here you see the sample of the boxes. What's very interesting is that the 2000 piece box is the same dimensions as the 1000 piece box. And uh, when we are in dimensions, let's discuss this so all immediately. They are a little bit smaller when it comes to this side. If you compare them to with Ravensburger, for example, as of the typical European uh, size, they tend to be larger on these two dimensions. But these are smaller. But they, for that matter, they are a bit taller. 
or thicker. I don't know how you would like to call this. Uh, they come in a sealed wrap, as you see. If you're wondering why this one, for example, is not sealed, it's because I already have puzzled it and it's already on the channel. Uh, I have also puzzled this one, which is uh, the Four Seasons, so it's called, from an artist called uh, Josef Lada. This one, I fortunately don't have a child, maybe I will put it later. Um, when we talk about the artist, what I find not so uh, optimum, let's say, is that they do state here the artist, Josef Lada, and sometimes they state also a year, but don't, they don't say the name of the jigsaw puzzle. For example, I don't know this one is called Four Seasons. Uh, it's not always such a problem, but I find it, yeah, good, you could have put a name there. Well, either way, what's on the box, it's, of course, the picture. It's uh, the name of the brand, Dino Puzzle, the number of the pieces, 1000 pieces, and the logo is on the first side. Uh, to, uh, here is something interesting, that the picture is somewhat smaller than the actual box. Uh, that's not always the case with all the puzzles in other brands. But um, up till now, all the jigsaw puzzles that I have done from them was never a problem that the picture was somewhat smaller. Uh, on the side, they have a small picture again, as I said, the artist, the dimensions, which are uh, somewhat the typical dimensions of Europe, a little bit uh, smaller than uh, 50 times 70, which are very good dimensions if you want to frame them uh, cheap. Uh, a barcode, the name here is also somewhat similar, uh, and again, somewhat similar. On the back side, they state high, high quality products made in the Czech Republic, and they also have an address. Guarantee, uh, recycle, made in Czech Republic. They also have a site where you can browse. The site was not that updated the last time I checked, but that's not uh, most important. Most important is that the jigsaw patterns are good. And let's see uh, then what's actually inside uh, the box. Here is a puzzle, as you see, it's wrapped. We make this, we open this for the sake of the review, and let's see together what's inside. Let's put this at the side. So, again, the box is the same as the other one. Here it was a little bit cramped. And let's open this. The box is somewhat thinner as the other boxes, but it doesn't feel less of a quality or something like this. So, as you see, we have the pieces. And that's it. In the sealed bag, here is also a code. I don't know if the code is important or something like this. And they also have a small hole so that the puzzles themselves can uh, uh, have some air, let's say. Uh, I don't see much of the dust, but then again, I will open this, I will do some puzzling, and I will tell you if there was a lot of dust inside. So, so, stay tuned and we'll see how it actually looks like when we puzzle it. Well, hello there again. As you can see, I have done some puzzling and uh, I think it's uh, now time we can uh, talk about the quality of the pieces. First things first, as you see, here is... Uh, you can clearly see that the, this brand has a grid cut, which is in all of the puzzles that I have met from the company are grid cut. So you find the typical uh, pieces from the 
ribbon. Uh, they may also exist the opposite of this one, which means all of the pieces are outside. Yes, I was, uh, now as I was uh, searching it quickly, I didn't find it, but they probably do ex also exist. And uh, when it comes to the print, you can see it's a clear print. I don't see any. Uh, it's not so a glossy print, so to say. And we will talk about this again when the jigsaw puzzle um, ready is. Ready is. Uh, what I wanted to say about the the fit. You see, they have a good fit. Let's see here, for example. They do fit quite nicely. And the test that we most of the time have, can we take more pieces or a chunk of pieces and transfer them around? Well, in this case, it seems it has worked. What about if they are uh, this one can also move this one for example yes yes and no so they do fit well together but you will have to do sometimes some extra uh, things let's say this, this way that you move the jigsaw puzzles around well as you can see we are already almost have finished the puzzle and uh, we can say about uh, the pieces in more detail uh, as you can see here let me bring you two or three pieces uh, they do have some thickness to them they do look sturdy and they do they are actually sturdy and I didn't have any problems uh, let's say them the print going off or them bending or something like this but then again uh, these things have to do also with the way you puzzle for example I am the type of puzzler that actually before he tries, he looks where this goes. For example, this piece, I know, that, yeah. Sometimes there are some errors or so, but I'm not the, tech, the puzzler who do tries and error stuff, which would have been uh, more um, tiring, let's say, for the pieces. But that's not it. They do have a good thickness. Uh, they they are clear on the cut. Uh, there was not many, I think two or three pieces were not completely cut because that's something that some people are not very happy when it happens. Uh, then again, we didn't find such pieces. We didn't find any broken pieces. So I would say in general it is a good quality. Then about uh, the community the community as um, i'm not the type of guy who always sees the news or sees the community but then i haven't seen i haven't ever seen any bad comments about the brand so that's also something that you may think it's important for your decision and lastly but last least the print you can also see we have already talked about it and lastly but not least about the price tag the price tag was uh, a feature that i was say hesitating if i should put it on the com on the review or not but then again it's an important part of the jigsaw puzzle i'm not going to say how much do these things cost i'm so going to say that they cost somewhere uh, where would you expect a uh, a good a jigsaw puzzle quality to cost maybe some one euro or something less than let's say a famous brands or so uh, and what about the value of money uh, I have never ever 
bought a jigsaw puzzle from them that I thought, hmm, yeah, good. So I do believe they are a good value for money. But that's then again, that's for you to decide. Um, in any case, it's, it's worth a try. So that's, I think, concludes, um, concludes our review about this jigsaw puzzle, the Dino brand. Uh, and then I leave it to you. What do you think about the Dino brand? Do you know the Dino brand? Have you ever had the Dino brand? And what are your experiences with it? Feel free to write me in the comments and feel free to have a free communication with uh, the people that are uh, Dino Puzzle friends or not Dino Puzzle friends. That's it from me for today. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Happy puzzling and until next time. Goodbye.